this week is not starting off well. I woke up Monday morning feeling like garbage. I went to my first two classes, but decided to skip my third class just because I was feeling like crap and I wanted to try and sleep it off. And I think that helped a little bit, but this morning I didn't feel a whole lot better. I went to class anyways, and luckily my uh, classes today are right after another and they end at like 9.50. So I was done at 10 a.m. for the day, which is great. So <clears throat> we still haven't gotten our, our student loan that I got under my name. So I went ahead and called the school, called the, the financial office, which wasn't a whole lot of help. And then I called the Veterans Affairs Office. And they told me that um, GI Bill doesn't, doesn't impact having a student loan or vice versa. Let me put it this way. So if you have the GI Bill and then a student loan, the student loan gets put on your account until your GI Bill gets, I don't, I'm, what's the word for it? Um, verified, it, it gets applied to your account basically. And you get that money from the VA for your school. So until that happens, then your student loan is applied to your your e-bill, you know, your, your, your student bill. And then once your GI Bill money comes in, the school refunds you your student loan amount and kicks that back to you. So it takes a little while, which is kind of frustrating. In the second week of school, and I applied for that loan several months ago, and I've been on GI Bill the whole time, but that's the government, I guess. And I think I'm gonna try and twist Anna's arm into going to Chipotle, because for some reason or another, a meal plan is mandatory at Auburn. So I have to pay $300 a semester for a meal plan, even though I'm married and have my own home. And if I don't use that, then that money disappears at the end of the semester. So, may as well use it at Chipotle. Well, what you got? Taking Ducky, huh? Taking Ducky outside to pee. <laughs> it's so funny. At least now I got some weather to match how I feel. <laughs> I think we're at peak sickness. My mucus is nice and thanks Obama. <laughs> Just kidding. So by the time Anna got home last night, it was like 7.30, 7.45, so we didn't go to Chipotle. And I just went to bed hungry because I was really too tired and too lazy to, to make anything. Uh, but now it's time to go to my 8 a.m. MATLAB class. That's like 300 people deep. So I just ordered this. Well, I did this morning. Got a little bit tired of using a DSLR for this vlog, and it's not so bad when I have it on the tripod and I'm doing a sit-down video. And in that case, I think you really can't beat the optics, the optics of a DSLR, but this thing's kind of heavy, and it's, you know, a smaller DSLR. It's a, it's a D5200. <clears throat> so it's, it's kind of heavy, it's kind of bulky. I wanted something that I could put in my pocket. Um, so that's why I went with the Nikon. I looked at the Sony Alpha lines and the like the Nikon G7X, I think it's called. And those were a little bit out of my price range. The Sony, not so much, but with all these horror stories I hear about overheating, it's like, mm, I don't know if I want to deal with that. And I think those are kind of more catered towards picture taking anyhow. And if I was just going to totally convert to that and get rid of uh, the DSLR, then I would consider that. But... I'm definitely going to keep the Nikon uh, for taking pictures <clears throat> and use the, the, the point and shoot for, for vlogging and taking places and things like that. So right now I'm home for a couple hours uh, before I go back <clears throat> for a class later. So I've got, got plenty of work to do. So may as well get to it. And I've just found out it's supposed to rain until 6 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to get wet all over again. Awesome. So I'm back on campus, and it looks like the rain has let up a little bit. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. But I have one more class today at 2, and I'm done. It's noon right now. It's already uh, starting to get like the hustle and bustle of, of uh, football season. It's only Wednesday, um, and the first game is this weekend. They've already like setting up uh, tailgating tents and they got all kinds of stuff. They're doing stuff in the stadium. Somehow traffic seems busier. I guess it's not surprising. It's the first game of the season. I'm sure there's a lot of alum coming to 
you know, camping their RVs down the road and stuff like that. The Veterans Club is tailgating. They have their own tent. And I was really itching to go and hang out with those people and, and drink some, some beer. But unfortunately, Ann and I have to go out of town to uh, plan a surprise birthday party for someone. Which is fun, but I mean, th they'll always be the next time, right? And while I'm thinking about it, this vegetarian thing is going pretty alright. I'll admit I do cheat from time to time. And that's not so much because I crave meat, but because I just want a little more variety. For the most part, I'm, I'm being pretty good about it. Boca burgers are pretty good. And I still have my pasta, so... Anna is trying to do the full vegan thing, and she's having a little difficulty with it. She, she craves stuff like eggs. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna keep, keep on with it or adjust it or what. I don't know. I haven't really talked to her about it lately. And it's not really any cheaper for us. Boca burgers are kind of pricey, especially when you eat as many as I do. We could probably make it cheaper if we really wanted to. If we wanted to eat straight plants like lettuce, like leaves all the time but I can't do that I need I need something that feels filling and that's gonna be a Boca burger or something very similar to it I don't know we'll see how it goes we'll probably keep it up I don't know if I'll be able to uh, in Florida we'll see I'll try and make it happen this morning I saw previews for this new movie with Steve Carell Lawrence Fishburne and Brian Cranston about uh, three veterans who are like old and tired and one of them finds the other two because his son was also in the military and he died overseas and he, they're going to Arlington to bury him and stuff. It looks like a really good movie. Um, I think I'll, at least I'll go see it. Maybe Anna would like to as well, but it looks like the right combination of, you know, being somber and also f kind of dry humor that veterans and military members are known for. And tomorrow is Thursday, which is honestly my favorite day of the week now because I only have one class. It's at 8 a.m. and after that, I'm done. Friday I have two classes, both of those are, I haven't memorized my schedule yet, but Thursdays are the deal. It's like Friday Eve, only have one class, have all day to do work, chill at the house in my sweatpants, it's Gucci. So finally I'm back home, and I was going to go to Chick-fil-A when I first got back to campus, and then I forgot it was lunch hour, and it's fall, and there were literally 100 people in line, and I wasn't about it, so I just went to the veteran's office, and hung out for a little while, and decided to investigate some strange deposits I got in my bank account um, which happens from time to time at the beginning of semester is they get delayed they come in strange quantities but I asked about it and uh, I'm glad I did because one my stuff wasn't certified which means I wouldn't have gotten any money and two I was once again being charged out-of-state tuition so it always pays to be proactive with your paperwork no one's gonna care as much as you do and if you don't care then bad things might happen. But right now, I gotta buckle down and do a good bit of math, and then I have to try and tackle this MATLAB thing, which is making my computer a little slow, sad face. Um, so if you're, I, I should have known better, especially going into a, a computer science degree. Should have either waited to get the, the latest and greatest computer when I started college, or should I, I should have gotten the next, the next, uh, the next step up in computers, because all I have is, 8 gigs of RAM and an i5 processor, which does not seem to be enough. Unless I'm doing something wrong, I don't think I am. Look at Bobby. He's being a good dog for once. Wow. Chewing on a bone. For now, until he becomes a little cretin again. But, um, I think I'm going to call it a day there. The next one we post will probably be after we come back from Florida. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.